name is Elias Lopin. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. I sell authentic ancient coins and artifacts from ancient Greece and Rome. Let me show you a little bit of what you get. This is an example of an authentic ancient coin of Emperor Augustus. It comes complete with a certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature. I've, I've identified over 28,000 items by now. The coin in a professional display case that preserves it for generations to come, a full color picture of the coin, a description that is professional and many times cites major museum collections and reference books. And on the back, you have the historical context of the item you purchased. So even if you're a complete novice to collecting ancient coins, you know what you're getting. Plus in my store you can make offers, over 6,000 items. I'm actually here to read the biography of Roman Emperor Antoninus Pius. Antoninus Pius looked like this. Antoninus Pius, also known as Antoninus, was Roman Emperor from 138 to 161. He was a member of the Nerva Antonine dynasty and the Aurelii. He did not possess the sobriet Pius until after his accession to the throne. One of his first acts as emperor was to persuade the Senate to grant divine honors to Hadrian, which they had at first refused. His efforts to persuade the Senate to grant these honors is more most more likely reason given to him the title of Pius. Dutiful and affection compares to Pietus. He was born near Lenuvium as the only child of Titus Aurelius Fulvus, council in 89, whose family came from a nemesis, modern Nemes. Sometime between 110 and 115, he married Faustina the Elder. They are believed to have enjoyed a happy marriage. Faustina was a beautiful woman well known for her wisdom. When Faustina died in 141 AD, Antoninus was greatly distressed. In honor of her memory, he asked the Senate to deify her as a goddess and authorized the construction of a temple to be built in the Roman Forum in her name, with the priestesses serving in her temple. He had various coins with the porches st struck in her honor. These coins were scripted Divae Faustina and were elaborately decorated. He adopted Marcus Aurelius Marcus Annius Verus, the son of his wife's brother, and Lucius, son of Aelius Verus, who afterwards became emperors Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus. He reigned, his reign was the most peaceful in the entire history of the Principate. This style of government was highly praised by his contemporaries and, and by later generations. There are no records of any military related acts in the time in which he participated. He never commanded a Roman army, never went within 500 miles of a legion, while there were several military disturbances throughout the empire in his time, in Mauritania, Judea, and amongst brigantes in Britannia. None of them are considered serious. It was, however, in Britain that Antoninus decided to um, follow a new, more aggressive path, with the appointment of a new governor in 139, Caetus Lolius Urbicus. Also during his reign, the governor of Upper Germany, probably Caius Popolius Carus Pedo, built new fortifications in the Argri de Cumates, advancing the Limes Germanicus 15 miles forward in his province and neighboring Raetia. He did take a great interest in the revision and practice of law throughout the empire. He was driven by concerns over humanity and equality and introduced into Roman law many important new principles based upon his notion. Antoninus passed measures to facilitate the enfranchisement of slaves. In criminal law, Antoninus introduced the important principle that accused persons are not to be treated gu as guilty before trial. One highlight during his reign occurred in 148 with 900th anniversary of the foundation of Rome being celebrated by the hosting of magnificent games in Rome. In, it lasted a number of days and a host of exotic animals were killed including elephants, giraffes, tigers, rhinoceroses, uh, crocodiles and hippopotami. While this increased Antoninus popularity, the frugal emperor had to debase the Roman currency. He decreased the silver purity of the denarius from 89 percent to 83.5 percent. The actual silver weight dropping from 288 grams to 
2.68 grams. Thank you very much for visiting my website, trustedcoins.com, to buy coins of this emperor and other emperors. Thank you very much.